quiet town of Salas Springs, stories of the black Jesus had been passed down through generations. This legend, shrouded in both mysticism and reality, had become the town's most captivating tale. The figure at the center, known as Emmanuel, was more than just a man to the townsfolk. He was a symbol of hope, change, and mystery. Emmanuel's arrival in Salas Springs was nothing short of miraculous. He appeared one stormy evening, drenched but with an aura of calm and purpose that set him apart. His skin, a rich shade of ebony, seemed to absorb the twilight, giving him an almost ethereal look. Despite his humble nature, there was an undeniable presence about him that drew people in. He claimed no association with divinity, yet the miracles attributed to him spoke otherwise. The townspeople first noticed his touch of healing when Martha, the baker's wife, bedridden and frail from an unknown ailment, was restored to health after Emmanuel visited her. Words spread like wildfire, and soon, those with the gravest of maladies sought him out. Emmanuel never asked for anything in return, only that people believe in the goodness within themselves. As stories of his miracles spread beyond Sala Springs, skeptics arrived to expose him as a charlatan. One such skeptic, Dr. Claudius, a renowned scientist, was convinced that Emmanuel's miracles were either coincidence or clever trickery. He challenged Emmanuel to prove himself by restoring sight to a blind girl named Alice, a challenge that, if he failed, would expose Emmanuel as a fraud. Emmanuel accepted with grace, his eyes reflecting a deep, ancient wisdom. On the day of the challenge, the town gathered in the square. Dr. Claudius observed with a mix of doubt and anticipation. Emmanuel gently laid his hands over Alice's eyes and whispered words no one could hear. Moments later, Alice blinked, her eyes adjusting to the light she had never seen before. Tears of joy and gratitude flowed as she looked upon her parents for the first time. Dr. Claudius, stunned and humbled, could find no logical explanation for what he had witnessed. Emmanuel's legend grew, but he remained ever humble. presence became less frequent. His teachings had rooted firmly in the hearts of Solace Springs residents. The town prospered, transformed by the spirit of unity and kindness he had instilled. And so, the story of Black Jesus, the symbolic embodiment of Emmanuel's legacy, lived on, a testament to the power of faith, love, and the simple truth that miracles reside within us all.